Today let's see how we can write selection sort program using C program. In selection sort, for example, if we have five elements in an array, A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3 and A of 4. First we select one element that is A of 0 and then compare it with A of 1, A of 2, A of 3 and A of 4. At the end of first iteration, A of 0 that is the selected element will be sorted that is the smallest element in that group will will be stored inside a of 0 for the next iteration we just leave off that a of 0 and start off with a of 1 and compare a of 1 with a of 2 a of 3 and a of 4 finally a of 1 will be sorted next we select a of 2 compare with 3 and 4 so here is one iteration first we select a of 0 and compare it with a of 1 2 3 and 4 if a of 0 contains a bigger element than the next element in the index then we sort it next again we start with a of 0 itself that is which has 0 now compares compare it with a of 2 so a of 2 is minus 2 so we so swap it and transfer minus 2 to a of 0 next compare minus 2 that is a of 0 with a of 3 a of 3 is greater than a of 0 so leave it as it is next compare a of 0 with a of 4 minus 2 is greater than 3 uh, minus 2 is less than 3 so leave that off now first iteration is complete so leave off a of 0 and now start with a of 1 and compare a of 1 with a of 2, a of 3 and a of 4. Now in the first iteration i should be 0 that is a of 0 will be selected throughout the iteration. j the comparison is with the index 1, 2, 3 and 4. In the next iteration i will be 1 and comparison will be with 2, 3, 4 that is j value. Next i will be 3, j will be 4. So with this we can see that j is just one, one greater than the i value. So the for loop is easy now. j starts from 0 and the loop continues till n that is the number of elements minus 2 because the index starts from 0. So if user gives 5, enters 5 elements, he has to loop through 5 times that is 0 to 4 so n minus 1 but the last element in the index need not be compared with anything so leave that off so the for loop should continue from 0 through n minus 2 and j is j starts from i plus 1 and continues through n minus 1 minus 1 because last elements last element in the array should be discarded because it can't be it need not be compared with any more elements as there are no any more elements no more elements so now let's start with the programming I'll take an array of 20 I'll ask the user to mention the size also and store it inside a variable called n and later on I'll ask the user to input n number of elements into the array here we will write the program for l and n elements because user we choose to enter any number of array in this the limit is 20 because we have taken a of 20 when we come to dynamic memory allocation we can remove these limitations too so now using the for loop take the numbers input from the user and store it inside the array variable a next the sorting part be careful here i starts from 0 and continues 
till n minus 2 you know why n minus 2 let me repeat it again array starts from 0 so it should continue till 1 less than the number of elements the user has entered if the user has entered 5 the loop should continue from 0 to 4 which is 5 minus 2 because the last element in the array need not be compared with any more elements so the loop should continue from 0 to n minus 2 next j whenever the array whenever i is 0 it should compare with 1 2 3 and 4 when i is 1 it should compare it with 2 3 and 4 index so j should be 1 more than i and it should continue till n minus 1 minus 1 because it need the last element should be discarded because it need not be compared with any more elements so if a of i is greater than a of j the element inside a of i is greater than element in a of j we should swap those elements using a variable called temp a temporary variable that's it oh we are not displaying the sorted elements Oops. enter one two eight six elements hope i have not let me display the sorted elements first zero through the number of elements that is n plus plus now using simple printf display the elements inside the array variable a of i save it get ch oh wait it was displaying some wrong numbers enter percentage d elements okay comma n now it should work save it okay zero error zero one in let's give five enter five elements 15 0 minus 2 8 and 3 let's see what happens okay minus 2 0 3 8 and 15 the array variables are sorted just visit the blog and see for more explanation with graphs images and some more text explanations thanks for watching please share this video with your friends like it on YouTube and please visit the blog and read the notes. Thanks for watching.